Hi everybody and welcome to Cut the Kibble. This is Miss Bella and I'm Paula and I don't have my Cut the Kibble apron on but at the Lake House I do have this dog bone apron. Um, actually the Lake House is called the Bear House uh, and uh, we have a lot of bears here and I want my daughter to make me a bear apron. Um, I thought I would do a video, it's raining out today and uh, I hate it when it rains here at the lake because it's, it's muddy and the, the dirt here, we have a lot of dirt, is red and her paws are going to get so dirty. You know, I'm from New York and when I moved down to Virginia back in 1972 uh, with my parents, my father was just like so freaked, I guess you could say, that because all the, the dirt was really clay in Virginia, was red <laughs> and he he told me uh, that it was because of the civil war of all the people that died it was their blood that went into the the dirt and turned the dirt red i don't know what it is but um she's gonna get pretty dirty and i can't get her groomed right now nobody's grooming i found a uh, mobile groomer but she's gonna wait three weeks to reevaluate if she's gonna groom so uh this is what she looks like right now. We should document this and get back to me in a week. Um, what do I want to talk to you about today? It's not about a recipe, but it's about preparation. As you know, I left my home because my husband was still working and I have asthma and I just didn't feel safe. I needed to be here <clears throat> because of my asthma. And I grabbed a few things, I, I thought real quick, I grabbed a few things to bring here because I intend to stay here for at least three months. And I got to be quite honest, I'm really liking it here. I might as well stay here the whole summer. And then I might as well stay in the fall. It's beautiful here in the mountains in the fall. <laughs> and then get back to my home uh, by the winter because it's icy there. It's icy here. I don't like being here in the ice or snow. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to do, but I'm going to be here for a few months. So I did grab some stuff. And... The video today is about what you need to put together. And I hate to be this way, but in case you get sick and you have to go to the hospital. And I know this all too well because two years ago, my, my young daughter got cancer and we had to put this little girl, um, ship her out to my sister-in-law's and I had to put a care package together. So, you know, Anything's possible and you need to be prepared. So that's what I want to talk to you today about. If you get sick, what are you going to do to your pet, for your pet? And I'm here alone, so what am I going to do? Well, <clears throat> I guess my husband could take her, but he's two and a half hours away. I mean, I guess he could. Uh, or I could have my daughter, who's at college, an hour away, take her. Those would be my two options. Another option would be my uh, sister-in-law who took her for six weeks. She's an hour away, but you know, she may have, she's taking care of my mother-in-law and she has a grandbaby that she may be taking care of. So I don't wanna, you know, overburden her, but I know she would be lovely. She had a Bijan once. Anyway, one, figure out who's gonna take care of your dog if you get sick, I mean, you just may be sick at home, who can walk your dog? Or if you have to, God forbid, go to the hospital, who can take care of your dog? And what are you going to give that person? Well, the first thing you need to do, and I did grab this from my other home. I have a book. Actually, it's still with my old, my other dog's um, records. And this is a big book that says Snow and Bella's Health Records. And I have all their I know you really can't see it, but I have all their medical records in there, all their immunizations, you know, God forbid they get bit by a dog or they bite somebody, you know, you could say to the county where you're living, here's my immunizations, it has all the health records of her. Um, for instance, she could never ever get the vaccine leptospirosis anymore, she got it once without my permission, the vet did it without asking me. And she went into anaphylactic attack and she almost died. If she ever gets that again, she will die. 
So that's all in here. It's important to have your records. I don't have records for myself. I don't really have records for my kids, but I have records for my dogs. It's crazy, isn't it? Anyway, that's number one. Number two, you need to have food. Now, I home cook and a lot of you home cook also. So what do you do? Well, when I had to give Miss Bella to my sister-in-law two years ago, I had food in my freezer three weeks and I gave her that. And I also gave her some Honest Kitchen to start her out with um, when she would run out of the food and she tried to sneak that in and Bella didn't like it. So she asked me for recipes <laughs> and my sister-in-law cooked for me. <clears throat> Um, that was very nice, but not everybody's going to do that. So you need to have some food that your dog's going to eat. And I got this last week. I ordered it from Amazon, and it came a couple days. It's Dr. Harvey's. It's dehydrated food. He sells several, but this one matched what Bella's used to and the recipes that I share with you. It's all the... Um, low starchy veggies, and all you have to do is add protein. So if a person had a feed your dog, all they would have to do is cook up some turkey or beef or salmon or rabbit, whatever you do, and add it to the dehydrated food. This way you're not putting a burden on them. Or if you have to, you can go to the store and buy food. Now look, <clears throat> I know kibble's bad and I hate kibble, but in times like these, if that's what you have to get to have on hand, that's what you have to get, okay? Just try to get a good quality kibble. I know, that's an oxymoron. Get a kibble, has no corn in it. I would not get grains in it. <clears throat> Make sure it's uh, made in the USA, or uh, preferably I would do canned food because it's wet. It has around 70% moisture in it and they need to have that moisture. If you get kibble, please do not store it like in your garage or in your laundry room um, because kibble, if it gets moisture, you know, and it's in a hot environment, it's gonna get mold, okay? And once that bag is open, those are special bags, once it's open, it really doesn't last long. Okay, and if you want to store it in a different container, you know, good luck with that too. You don't want to store it in plastic because of the BPA. And so if I were to get anything, I would do dehydrated. You could try Honest Kitchen. You can try um, Dr. Harvey's. My next thing would be to do canned food. Um, Merrick, M-E-R-R-I-C-K. I looked into that two years ago and that's a good one. They have it where it's just the veggies and all the supplements and all you do is add the beef to it. So that would be good. Honestly, kibble would be my last resort, but you do what you know you need to do. Okay, what else would you have to give a person that's taking care of your dog? Well, it's basically everything that I brought up here from my house. I have a little <clears throat> container. Actually, this container has a top to it with a handle because these boxes go down. And it's great, I, I put everything in here. Um, so what did I put in here? Well, the first thing I put in here is my flea and tick. Now I don't give flea and tick all the time. Um, she hasn't had it in a year. And because she's only gonna be walking around my yard, she doesn't wanna go for a walk around the block because she's stressed. I'm not gonna do flea and tick, but I'm bringing it in case she has to go somewhere else and be with somebody else. So I use Frontline. I've been using Frontline for the past 15 years and I don't have a problem with it. The thing is, if you put it on, you just can't put the liquid on their shoulder and have the dog like take a nap. You need to put it on and take the dog for a brisk walk so that the Frontline, the chemicals, she sweats and it goes all throughout the body. Okay, because if you leave it there, she's gonna get burns. Okay, uh, I don't wanna go into a talk about what not to get, but I will say do not get Brevecto. Do not get Brevecto, it causes major, um, 
made your seizures and do not get anything that you swallow, they swallow the pill, do a topical. If you're swallowing a pill, think about it. I mean, I'm not a vet, but think about it. It's going inside the body and it's gonna affect the kidneys and, and all their organs. No, don't do that. Do not get Provecto. Okay, what else, else I got here is something from uh, Dr. Karen Becker. I got it last year when I was kind of scared of using anything. And um, it's a topical herbal repellent for dogs and puppies. And I got that online. Again, I haven't used them yet, but I have it just in case. And then what else do I have in here? Of course, I have my um, D-Manos. She gets once a week for uh, preventive UTI. She's never had a UTI. She's always had D-Manos. I have my pill crusher. I did a little video on that. Um, it's also a pill slicer, which I'm going to be needing because I just had to get from the vet, and I hope I'm not going to use it. I hope finally she's adjusted here, but I got some um, tranquilizers, uh, trazodone, which I will use going home on the trip because she's really bad in the car, and I used it coming here. I should have taken a tranquilizer. Um, and she did great. And she allowed me to unpack the car. She was phenomenal. I have my um, other medicine, my uh, metrodiazole, if I need to give her, because she gets um, IBS while she's at the lake. She doesn't like it here. But hopefully she's going to get used to it. But any of your medicines you want to you know, put all together, give instructions. Um, I have my pheromones with my little scarf you know I could tell the people they could put this on her and I have my little um, eighth of a teaspoon measure for my D manos and um, it's very hard to find an eighth of a teaspoon by the way and I have my rescue remedy for anxiety and I have my senior supplement that she gets once a day and of course there's the probiotics that i can't put in here because i have to keep that in the refrigerator um so you need to like put a note on here and say other things to give the probiotics and some treats you know i have my treats all over the house i'm not going to keep them in here so anyway you just need to be prepared and i really believe in murphy's law if you are prepared nothing's going to happen let's hope not but I just wanted to share with you that, and I really hope that everybody's staying safe. Um, honestly, I would not take your dog to a dog park because I think dog parks are like cesspools anyway. I never take Bella there, but especially now. And, you know, walking your dog, you need to be careful. I mean, I'm not trying to be whatever, but if somebody spits, and I see it all the time, people spit on the floor, the road or the sidewalk, and then your dog steps in that. And then your dog brings that in the house, and then your dog jumps on you, it's on you, and then you wipe your hand. I mean, the tests they've done to see how long this virus can last, they've done it on copper, on cardboard, and something else. They haven't done it on dogs. And Dr. Fauci said, I'm sorry, it wasn't Dr. Fauci, it was... Dr. Karen Becker, they had an interview with a vet from Cambridge University who said that the, the most comparison to fur was cardboard, which really isn't. Um, so it's, you know, it's gonna last. If you have somebody in your home that's old or is immune compromised, I wouldn't have your dog going near that person uh, if your dog, you know, goes outside and is social. I would definitely not have anybody petting your dog. Um, and the, the doctor from Cambridge says, if you go to a dog park or something, you should wait at least an hour to have that dog socialize with the older person in the home. Well, we're just staying in and we're walking around our yard and uh, we're gonna be okay. And I hope my freezer comes, I ordered a freezer for this lake house. I ordered it um, two weeks ago and supposedly it should come delivered April 1st. I don't have high hopes for it coming because everything was sold out. 
But if it does, then I can get some more food stored for me and for this little girl. Anyway, that's my video for today. And um, I hope everybody um, is staying 